What's up, for Welcome back to another video. And today, Hawks somehow win this game. Now, I know you guys are gonna be like, "Wow, well, you upload when you win." That's not true. You guys know I upload when I lose as well. It's just that that game against the Knicks. It was overtime. It was 11 o'clock at night. I had to get up for school the next morning, and I just was not in the mood to do a recap. So that's why I didn't do that recap. But wow. I cannot believe we won by this much and won at all. No Trey Young, no Clint Capella, no Tony Snow, no Chris Dunn, no uh, DeAndre Hunter, no Cam Reddish. I was just really just no Trey Young and no Capella, and we still won. I don't know how. These games are so crucial. And it was just so big to get this win because we, I believe our next game is the Bucks. And chances are we win that game without Trey, our very slim. So we needed to get this one because I believe after the Bucks we play the Pistons, which should be an easy win. So we needed this one. This one was crucial and somehow we got it. Not sure how, but we did. Somehow, somehow held the Heat to only 14 points in the fourth quarter. This game confused me so much. It was just back and forth, possession scoring, possession scoring in the first in the first half, as you can see, pretty much even up at halftime. And then second half, it was just all defense. It felt like just the defense just out, just found their found themselves, I guess, at halftime. But I've talked a little too much. Let's get into this box score. We can start with the Heat. Bam Adebayo, 16 points, 5 assists, 3 rebounds. Jimmy Butler, 19 points, 7 assists, 2 rebounds. Kendrick Nunn, really the MVP for the Heat of this game. 21 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. Duncan Robinson lost them the game, in my opinion. 13 points, 2 assists, 5 rebounds. He had multiple open looks that he could have cashed in on and got the Heat the momentum back, but he just couldn't cash in. Duncan Robinson was awful for the Heat tonight and might be the main reason why they lost. Trevor Rizzo with a, with a good game with double-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists. Iguodala with a goose egg, but he had 3 rebounds and grabbed 2 boards. Drogic only with 3 points. He only played 18 minutes. I guess he was on a minute restriction. And Tyler Hero with 12 points, 2 rebounds. Dwayne Dedman, 6 points, 3 rebounds. Now, Dwayne Dedman, there was a good pickup by the Heat. A very underrated pickup. He's a big guy, went... His wingspan is incredible, and he can shoot the three ball. In my opinion, that's a great signing for the Heat. He just needs more time to get comfortable with the system. Let's get into this hot spot score. We didn't even rebound that good. That was what surprised me. We definitely got some favorable calls by the refs, but the Heat did as well. The refs just weren't good. Brandon Goodwin was getting calls like he was Steph Curry. I'll just... Admit that right now. Brandon Goodwin got some calls he definitely did not deserve. But it is what it is. Let's get into the spot score. Onyeko Kongu, 6 points, 1 assist, 7 rebounds. Solomon Hill, 9 points, 1 assist, 4 rebounds. Kevin Herter, only with 11 points, but got 6 assists and 4 rebounds. Bogdanovich puts up 21 points, 8 assists, and 3 rebounds. He might be the best signing of the offseason. Like, at first, this guy was nothing big. He was scoring 10 points a game, getting 7 points, 10 points, just couldn't find that 3 ball. Now that he's hidden it, he is unstoppable. John Collins, great game as well. He had multiple putbacks, 20 points, 1 assist, and 8 rebounds. Gallinari coming off big off the bench with 17 points, 1 assist, and 5 rebounds. Brandon Goodwin coming off the bench with 17 points, 4 assists, and 3 rebounds. Brandon Goodwin, Brandon Goodwin was probably the difference in this game because if he goes for his normal probably three or five, you know, this game is obviously a lot closer, but he was hitting them, and he was drawing fouls, getting getting laps to go. It was just an unbelievable game by him. 13 points from Lou Williams and two assists. Nathan Knight getting in on some action with four points and four rebounds. He had a good dunk, I believe, uh, in the first half, which that's all he does, really. He's, he's a put-back dunker. For now, we have to develop him, and he could be some really good talent in the future, but right now, He's just a put-back dunker, in my opinion. But he still should deserve minutes, and I like him us giving him double-digit minutes. I like that. 
Let's go into these team stats. 15 three-pointers, shooting 42%. It's definitely, we're shooting, we're definitely a big part of why we won this game as well. First quarter, we, we were shooting lights out from three. I believe we made like five threes in the first quarter, which is amazing. Shot 53% from the field, 89% from free throw range. That's amazing. Out-rebounded them with Okongwu at center, which, which surprised me. Evened up with assists. Then we got out blocked, obviously. Don't have much defense on this team without Capella. Got 12 steals, though. Uh, 14 turnovers, 44 points in the paint, and they had one more foul call on them than us. But it was just a great game overall from the Hawks. I was already expected to lose this game. You can ask people all around from the YouTube community or wherever. I fully expected us to lose this game and did not expect to win at all. But just get a 15-point win over the Heat, 118-103. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys. Go Hawks. Have a good night.